looking at. I didn't miss that many. So 12, negative 8 is a, well, obviously it's a rational number, and an integer. Square root of 44 is a uh, natural or counting number, however you want to call it. It's a uh, whole number, integer, and rational. Right, because square root of 44 is the same thing as 12. 4 over 7 is just rational. You don't have to write real, it's just rational, it's fine. And then square root of 21, um, it's going to be a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal, so that makes it irrational. Okay, just... All right, 13 is a little bit silly, but it's just a matter of, again, this one is just... I mean, think of the what the, what, what, what the topic is right now, operations with rational numbers. Uh, but this is just, you know, uh, on the easier side. So we have Kim bought two of the Apple 4 watches. Okay, so she bought two of these. If I can actually read it, so two times, okay, uh, the new MacBook Pro, which I wish I had, and two tickets to Australia, yeesh, um, at that price, and then what is this? And then she started, oh, jeez. So, and then she started with $10,000. So, 10000 So, if I wanted to write an expression, like, I think I could do this, right? 10000 minus the sum of all the items she bought, and then we're going to divide that by 349.95. This is how many, if she has any money left over, how many of the headphones can she buy priced at 349.95. So, uh, yeah, it's just painful to do, but nothing, nothing crazy. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, 462.84 times 2 is 925.68, and then we're going to add that to MacBook Pro, and then we're going to 893.11. So, and this, what is this she bought? Oh, the tickets to Australia. 122. And I'm going to divide that by all those. Okay, so let's just add them up. 925 plus, say, plus 2434.84 plus 3786.22. So, 7146.74, that's the sum of all the items. We're going to remove, subtract that from 10,000. Um, subtract that from 10,000. We're left with, so after she buys all that, she's left with 2,853.26. We're going to divide that by 349.95 to see how many of the headsets you can buy and uh, and it's gonna be eight headphones I mean it's gonna be leftover money but we're not asked about that and then you would show work and it's obviously eight headphones um, that's it okay so again more of a pain in the butt than anything German Shepherd is 50 and one-fourth pounds okay a beagle weighs three fifth that amount. Okay, so what's three fifths of fifty and one fourth? Well, three fifth of fifty one fourth. So that's very simple. So three fifths. I would keep this as a. Again, you can change that to zero point six and that fifty point twenty five. Multiply them as a decimal. Uh, that's okay. This would be fifty times four is two hundred. Two hundred one over four. Is there any advantage of doing it this way? Ugh. Not really. So that's 20. This is 603. Right? Am I doing anything? Uh, four. Sorry, not 201. Oh, there's my mistake. Sorry. I can hear the screaming. Uh, that's 4. 4 times. No, it is right. 201. Okay. 
So 603 over 20. Um, wait, what am I missing here? Am I getting, sorry guys, 5 times 4 is 20, 3 times 201 is 603. Uh, why does this look a little weird? I miss my coffee. Oh, and then it's, okay, so we simplify. So a beagle is about 30, well, it's kind of a fat beagle, but 30 and 3 20th. Uh, what is it, pounds? Yeah. That's two fifths divided by negative 0 0.555. You have choices again. Change to two, what do you call? To decimals if you like, but I wouldn't. So two fifths times, we're going to take the reciprocal of that, which is going to be 100 over 55, right? Because 0 0.55 is 55 or 100. It's going to be a negative number. Can we simplify? Yeah, this one, this becomes a 20 divided by 4, this becomes a 5, sorry, divided by 5 becomes a 4, divided by 5 becomes 11, so it looks like negative 8 over 11. Negative 9 and 2 fifths minus 8.2 plus negative 7 and 9 tenths plus 6.35, so I would definitely not do what do you call uh, fractions here. So negative 9.4 minus 8.2. This is actually going to be a minus, so 7.9. You can leave it that way, but I just chose to change that. And then plus 6.35. So let's do all these three together. So this is actually negative 9.4 plus negative 8.2 plus negative 7.9. So we're going further and further. So we're adding three negative numbers, right? And we're going further and further to the left, uh, to the left of the number line. So that's going to total us 25.5 negative, right? Plus 6.35. Now this is going to be a negative answer because the absolute value here uh, is definitely uh, bigger. Um, and 25.5 minus, we're going to find the difference between those two. And we're going to get 19.15. So imagine you're standing at 25.5 and you're adding 6.35, which means you're heading to the right. Not, you know, uh, you're increasing in value. So you went from negative 25.5 to 19.15. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So that's your work for today.